Hey everyone, welcome back to Rogue Legacy Lament of Zors. Last time, we grinded a lot. And so now it's time to see the fruit of our labors. And well, the fruit of one specific hero. So this Lady Charlotte II, Divine Lich Queen. Yes, very divine. Well, they earned us a lot of money. Um, gosh darn it. So we get two Lich Queens and a glaucoma spell thief. I do want to try out a spell thief before we start expanding, but I don't want to do it with glaucoma and other visual things. Let's see. So we could do the one. We could do gigantism. All right, we'll do gigantism, I think. Um, but yeah, let's talk about how Amazing Lady Charlotte did. So, we have the money from last time. You might notice over there, that's 52,819 gold. 52,000. So, my immediate thought is to try to invest it all in here and basically ruin myself, but I do want to try to actually progress the story first. And this money is was this money was supposed to go to progressing the story. So, my idea is I'm going to buy the heaviest equipment I can and then just increase my equip up so I can equip them all. So, wow. All right, silver sword, guardian sword, imperial sword, and dragon sword. All right, dragon sword's the strongest, and it's only 2,800, which that's supposed to be a lot. And I'm going, so I need 20 more weight from there. Imperial helm. All right. Just checking everything. All right, so 35 more weight from there. So, so far we're at 55 weight needed. All right, so then we have the sky chest. Um, so yeah, we're equipping that now. The thing is, I was counting the 20 weight from, um, that's all right there. So we're going from 55 to 75 weight needed. All right, silver limbs, imperial limbs, dragon limbs. So we're now at 75. Wait, do I have an Imperial? Okay, I don't have the Imperial plate. I was going to say, if we could get all Imperial, that would be cool. Just for looks of nothing. And I don't have any of the cloaks. All right, well, we'll get the Dragon Limbs. I believe we were at 75. So this breeds us to 125 needed. So let's go over and buy 13 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright. Make sure everything works. Alright. So where does this put us? Um, so... I do want note that like everything starts out a lot lower for the lich, so it's kind of hard to calculate how powerful I just made myself. I really don't know. I really don't know. I think I made my character really strong. Yeah, okay, so it's 54 damage for a character who starts out with low attack. So yeah, that's... This character should be really strong. This character, level 60, should be capable of taking out the later areas. Hey, look! Gosh. That last run, I just got so many runes. So many everything, basically. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to stick with what I have for now. I might change out that gold rune for a s balance. But I'm going to stick with the bounty for now. Yeah. Alright, so now that I got overpowered with the equip... Hmm. So, some of these things... So I, so I guess I should note the things that we figured out while we were playing the game, the playing the grind, because not everyone watched that. So the hackle here, apparently they changed what it does. Usually it makes it so that Sharon um, doesn't take all your gold. They've changed it so it makes the architect's fees lower. Um, then we have the death defy, which allows you to avoid... Well, actually, that doesn't change. But yeah, haggle changed, so that's important to know. Um... With this, I think I am going to do the gold gain up from here on, because I do have a lot of power with these strikes. And yeah, I just, I don't think I need too much damage output, and I always like going to the gold gain next to make sure we have a lot more for next time. So there we are. 
more gold gain. From there, what else do I want? I don't want to grab Upgrade Spell Thief until I've actually played the original Spell Thief. So, we're going to wait on that. Hmm. Let's just increase Haggle in case we ever want to play the Architect. Just for when that time comes. 979, 910, 915. Yeah, this seems to be the closest, so crit damage up. Probably not the best thing to buy, but hey, it spends my gold best. Alright. Well, wait, 111, and that's before we add any increases. So let's see. So if I ever want to use the Architect, Walking Down the Castle costs 90. We still get 90% of our gold. That's pretty darn good. Alright. Well, this seems to be another Lich run. So, something we figured out. The Lich is arguably more powerful than the Archmage, probably. Um, it does take a lot of exploring the castle, but it's possibly stronger. Here's the question. Do I want to lock down the castle? And no, I'm going to try out locking down the castle just so I could show everything that the last character did, as well as um, just check if the rooms have re... Like, if the rooms with the treasure chests are still filled with treasure chests and stuff. Enjoy! Maybe you can reach some treasures your ancestors missed. Alright, so it should keep the entire map. So as you can see, the previous one did the entirety of Castle Hampson. And because we ran out, we then did the forest. Did the entirety of the forest. It was a lot. Now, it does seem like I missed some treasure chests, but only the ones I missed are still popping up. I'm gonna go through the areas real fast and just see if the enemies have respawned for me to kill. Yep, alright. So at least there's this. So I can scale. But I'm not even sure if I want to scale too much. Um, I guess I should, because it's like, it's hard to see if this is um, a good example of if I can, you know, make it or not, because, gosh, how do I explain this? The Lich, because it starts out really weak and it ends unreasonably strong, it's hard to know if, if the Lich can do it, if any of my other classes can do it. If I had the option of another class that wasn't, you know, Dwarf or Clock Home, I'd take it. So that I could figure this out. Alright. Well, either way, I am still collecting a lot of money. Yeah, let's see how much money. So, with this... Let's see, I bought two of those, so I... So I still gained 14 gold, even with um, buying the Architect. That is good to know. Alright. Well... I don't want to spend my entire time exploring here, and I don't want to go through the map I already went through with the previous ledge just twice. So I'm going to just collect a bit more gold, and then I'm going to um, show a few more things and then leave. So... Oh yeah, and these things are still used up. That's good to know. Alright. I believe... You know, I should check if there was a mini-boss. Um, and probably go beat that mini boss for some extra treasures. So mini bosses usually have to go up to face. So there might have been a mini boss in there, but. Hmm. Alright, good to know. Oof. You know. What's the fastest way? Alright, so there's the boss room over there. And that's actually where I was going to go next. So I can show you guys something. So, one of the themes is with this character, okay, you c if you stay in one spot, you can heal from spending your um, evolution points, basically. That's the ability of the Lich. That's the new ability of the Lich. So I was just trying to do that, but you have to stay in one spot or like hold down the run button, and it wasn't working out in that room. Alright. Well, this might be a short one, and that's perfectly fine. So yeah, because these treasure chests are open, it's not going to be fun. So anyways, you might notice this glowing door where the boss room usually is for Kadir. So, last time, 
I said I didn't want to progress, but I was going to grab random items. And one of the random items I ended up grabbing was called Sharon's Oval. And that makes it so that it unlocks this special room. This special room... Whoop! I didn't go in last time, so I'll show you it now. So, it's an extra fight against Kadir. But you might notice, I'm not playing the same character. This is a spell sword named Lady McSwordy. Um, they're... Well, we're not going to look at that because that has some of the spell sword stuff that I want to show later. But basically, the character is its own character built for this fight. It doesn't have my stats that I built up. It has its own. And we now have to face this boss with just that character. So... Yeah, so the theme of the spell sword is that they regain mana from um, hitting them. And something you're noticing from this enemy is that it doesn't give as much as long of stops between attacks. So I have to keep focusing. And when I'm not focusing, I'm taking a lot of extra damage that I don't need to be taking. And if I die, like I did there, I get warp back in the exact spot I was prior. So I could technically try there try this one fight a dozen times. I don't want to do that right now, and the reward you get for it doesn't come until later. So, instead I'm going to go try to... I'm going to just show off the new boss. I'm going to... Sh yeah, so I didn't enter this boss room, but I am going to show it off. I am going to face it with this character, with kind of the intent that this character cannot be strong enough to fight it right now. Um, so that, at the very least, you can see what it is I have to challenge with. So, it is a giant one of these floating heads, the Forgotten Alexander. So, at times it will stop and shoot out those bursts. And so, this seems pretty easy until you realize it's now spawning miniature, miniature versions of itself. And a lot of them. Alright, so, just to calculate, so I did 75 damage, and they were at about half health. So I need to do something like 100 damage to one-shot them. In other words, these little minions are not getting one-shot. They're going to be a persistent problem, and they just keep swarming you in addition to Alexander. Which is what makes that fight hard. Alright, well this time I'm not going to lock it down. And we're going to look for a class that can do... Alright, so here's an idea. We could do the Barbarian Queen. Um, the special ability of the Barbarian Queen will allow us to push all the skeleton guys away. And with the Gigantism, we can stay a distance while attacking. Um, we have Paladin with ADHD. We have a Splunker. Um, so I have not tried the Splunker yet, but I feel like we just finished the grind episode. I don't want to jump straight to the Splunker now. So I'm going to try out the Barbarian Queen. All right. So let's see, what should I upgrade? So we have 920. Oh, these are 150. All right, let's get our crit chance up. Can Blah. Sorry about that. Let's get our crit chance up a little bit. Make it so it's more likely to get those deadly strikes. And hey, look, the Barbarian is known for dealing less damage and yet deals 54 with a basic attack. So I think we amp that up enough. And 74 with magic attacks. That is good to know. So this time I'm not locking it down. I want to get a sense of how I could do in an unexplored area. And now that we have this, let's head to the new area. All right. So yeah, two strikes with this. It seems like it's gonna be three for the boss itself though, because different levels. All right. So we have the tall guards, which you just have to get around and swing. Not hard to get around, but if you don't do it, they take forever. Ooh, ranger cape. Hey, it's a cape. I didn't have capes. Yeah, I have a vampire cape. Oh, I just realized I have a vampire cape that's reducing my max health. Hmm. Worth noting. And that enemy is now gone. Just, could you come up, please? Thank you, sir. Oh, hi. You could jump. I know you can. Come on. 
Stop being such a jerk. Okay, you know, just stay in the corner. Think about what you've done. Okay, those guys were too... That was a pair of jerks coming from above. Yeah, so those things kind of run back and forth. They're supposed... The problem is that they were just so high above me, I couldn't really... By the time I saw them, I couldn't deal with it. And the weird diagonals made it hard to approach from below me. Ah, well... Good thing that the very tip of my hitbox did not reach. Got lucky there, honestly. Alright. Alright. So, yeah. Whoa. Alright. So, let's just keep going up for now, because I do need a... I am kind of exploring the area again, but I also do need to find the boss. Alright, so I'm getting 16 gold when I'm not um, locking down the area. So with those guys, I'm trying to make sure I kill them while their spike ball is um, under the ground, because the spike ball despawns instantly if it is. Alright. So, just kind of take it slow and methodically. Ooh. Got lucky that that thing did not spawn the... So these things, they just spawn um, like... I don't even know what to call them right now. Stone pillars beneath you. I got lucky that wasn't in the corner, so I could still hide in the corner while that happened. So, as long as we... Alright. Making use of the fact that I'm a barbarian. There we are. Got myself to 2,000 already. Sounds good. Oop. So yeah, these things aren't hard. It's just when there's a lot of them, you have to you don't always know you have to keep moving and they're like they're hard when you mix them with other enemies. But if you face those things on their own, they're pretty easy. There we are. Yeah. I don't even care about the damage right now. I am a barbarian, so I can heal it back pretty easily. Cuz yeah. All right. Yeah, you can hop on the top of those tall guards if you really need to. I just prefer to just stab them from behind. Reach me. Okay. This is one of these. Alright, cool. Did it in time. So yeah, you just... It's a general path and you don't know the path because it's all blocked on, off by vision. You just have to kind of finagle your way around. Alright, so this is a dead end, so we only have that way to the right. Okay. Which means we are facing those wargs or wolves or whatever they're called again. Alright. Well, this time I'll be ready. I would have thought they would be up here. Are they just gone? I hear them. Alright. Yeah, you just have to, like, know they're coming and get your sword ready. And they're pretty simple. But yeah, you do need to be ready for them is the main issue. Oop. All right. Great thing about the double jump is just continuing the confrontation for those sort of enemies. Yeah, so there's a weird sound whenever I hit the ground from really high up. I don't know what that sound is. Like, if I make it again? That. I don't know why it's making that sound. Alright. Well, I usually like my path of left with moving forward. Not touching the jukebox, because I don't know what songs you guys like, so default's always just a safe bet. And there's no special see-through walls, so I'm just going to... safe, and the knife wasn't safe. Alright. Alright, so we now have one of those guys. Didn't see you before. Glad to know you're there now. Alright. So, 
Yep, just kind of working my way through. Every attack gives me two health. And then, yeah, killing kills me four, so recovery should not be hard. Are you kidding me? Just play it safe. So, I can explore this area. I'm just making stupid mistakes a lot right now. So, I can... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm just going to leave before a stray shot kills me as a stray shot kills me. Beautiful. Alright. Moving on. Paladin Splunket. Alright, let's try the Splunket. I recognize that this is not supposed to be the grind episode. This is supposed to be the reward for the grind episode. But maybe this is just second grind. Maybe we have to be alright with that. Yeah, I got 5,000. Um, so I explained this last time that increasing my armor and health is probably better for survivability, but Death Defy is more fun because it has that random element. So I'm picking that even though it's a mistake. 55, 940, 900, 1070. All right, let's get our crit chance to 10% so that we can actually, it's not at 10% yet, but let's start building our way up. Oh. That ADHD is really... It seems like it's more impactful than usual. Right, I got cape. Alright. This increases crit chance and crit damage. And it removes the vampirism. So that's probably going to be worthwhile. Also, the weight is perfect for me. It exactly fits with my carrying capacity. Alright. What do you get? You're going to replace the gold with the haste room. Not really worried about that right now. By the way, what is this thing's um, abilities? So it says a 30%... Oh, is 30% move me speed now part of the Splunker? That is good to know. Oh, and better chest and gain gold from exploration. Wow. That sounds like this character could have become really good. Um, also, hmm, I'm going to try something with the next life, if I still have the gold for it. Um, so you know how I'm just picking the best equipment, basically. I was wondering if you had all of one specific equipment, if it gives some special ability or anything like that. And if I could purchase that one, I could figure it out, because I could easily have all of the first ones. Alright, so you gain gold from exploration. I just got... Okay, so I just got 90 gold from entering this area. And the thing that makes the Splunket insane... I know where everything is. I don't know how to get it, but I know where everything is. So if I enter this room, there's a treasure chest right above me. Alright, getting right above me is a lot harder than I thought. Alright, there's a question mark just to the left of the other entrance point. So... Try that out. And by the way, the Splunket is not... Oh! You get gold just from entering areas. Alright, hold up. 21 gold? I was getting 16 before. Hold up, let me get... Because that should be 19 normally. Unless it's actually doing 30% of 16, which would be 1.6, 3.2, 4.8, so... Yeah, this thing's doing... um. 30% more gold on top, like, the 30% is a applied after all other gold gain increases. That's awesome. Just gotta be careful, because this character moves fast, and makes it pretty hard to control, and unlocking all these areas does give me more gold, and that's the combination of all of that makes this character actually really good for the grind. You know, this is a fast grind. I'm not really struggling. Alright. Come on. Alright. What are... What that gold does? Because I see it more than once when I enter a room sometimes. Alright. Just in here. Awesome. Got myself a silver cape. So 
the silver cape might need me to grab more resources. But if I go down, there should be two different question marks to my left. Which would be nice. So yeah, now that the Splunker actually has this speed, it makes it actually a bit more entertaining to, lot, to play with. With this change, I actually do think this is a lot more fun to play, and this is a this makes the character good in other ways because you can actually like just exp the fact that just exploring gives you gold is actually a huge boon because it means no matter how dangerous the castle is, you can still gain something just from exploring. All right, I'm gonna keep um my axe for now in case I find a fairy chest that needs it, but it's good to know that there is that there if I need it. Alright, they get a stun at me. Tribal tallies. Development time? Three months. Release date? November 23rd, 2009. Tribal tallies was the first product, project we had worked on months after the horrible experience with Band of Bears. It was a bit of a test project. Dabble our feet in the water of iOS gaming, since we never had, we never tried making something on mobile platforms before. The game was simple in concept, as you trap numbers in sequence as fast as you could. To spice things up, we implemented several modes, like tap backwards, hidden numbers, and tap matching. We thought the scope was reasonable, but the game ended up taking much more time than expected. It didn't help it was all coded on a Hackintosh. It was a pretty plain game. We could have done better, but we're all playing it safe after Ben of Bears. They do. F they proceed to not play it safe from here on out, as far as I can tell. And right above me is a push mark jet. All right, defeat all enemies. It's a good thing this is a very safe spot because I don't feel comfortable moving right now. All right, critical hit made that a little easier. All right, yeah, this. Movement speed is beneficial in ways other than just getting you to the treasure chests. If I could just actually use it and not be an idiot running into everything. Yeah, but everyone is an idiot at times. Alright, can't go through that wall. But yeah, like I've already have 5,000 gold, and like there's a lot to explore, and I know where I want to explore next, which is really cool. So, by the way, if I find two chests right next to each other, so right there, those two chests next to each other, that's where the boss is. That's good to know. Like, even though I'm going to this area, there's value to just really quick pop over, gain some gold like that. Oh, at the end of this is a question mark room. So yeah, let's get to the end here. Whoop. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if it's a long room, maybe it allows, it gives you gold more than once. Alright. Jukebox, not very valuable. And this question mark again to my left. Alright. Alright. Continue the story. Alright, I guess I should... I will read this, and then I will... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just speed through this, and then I'm going to read... It will allow you to check the previous ones. I think I've read through two in the last episode in case people weren't there for it. So I'm just going to quickly tap through it and start on journal entry of number five. Journal entry number five. I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I'm committed to my cause and will not back out. this. So far, none of the maps I've found coincided with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe it was unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the force is always to the right, the tower above, and below. Well, hopefully I won't have to find out. Journal entry number six. I've never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these dark and gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my help. I can never tell what horror lies at me to work. I'm the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping the demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them, this was a blessing in disguise. They would not have afforded to survive these halls. All right, and now I slow down and do the original, do the new one. Journal entry number seven. It is still night. Past every window stares back the same melancholic moon, but I swear I have been here at least a whole waking day. It must be the adrenaline. I've never felt so powerful. It's simultaneously challenged. 
It's exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy for after enemy. In some ways, the foes in this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. This may sound crazy, but this castle can somehow sense those within it. I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. If my assumptions are correct. The design of these halls could be all a ploy. Could all be a ploy, pulling me down further into a trap. I must stay away. All right. So yeah. Um, at the end, I'll probably um, do a reread of the entire story. If, but like that will be like after I beat the final boss, I'll do a quick vid doing that or something. Because I know people like story, but I also don't want to like waste a bunch of time on that. That's why I sped through those conversations just a second ago. Alright. Alright. Awesome. Oh! Okay. That's good that you could just grab HP increases and stuff in chests. In the base game, I think you have to grab all the different helms and stuff before you can do that. So... Yeah, just... The Splunker... The ability that you can just gain gold by entering an area, not even like clearing it out. Like I can just kind of sprint from here to here and gain money doing it, and that's that's just a huge effect. All right, another question mark at the end of this room. Like this is this is what I wanted out of um, the grinds, or this is what I think people. This is what I was expecting from the grind session. Alright, I have to be careful because I can only take one more hit. Alright, I got one. And when there's one, there we are. Okay. Ooh. Nearly just ran to my death. Alright, so I think the red is if I exit a room while um, it's flashing red. And it causes that weird effect. Alright, I'm going to just head lower down for now. Alright, yeah, the, Splunky, the Splunker is a weaker than the other classes. So I did not expect to um, survive the other area. So if you ever find your way to this lower area, you look for easy to find treasure, and then you get out, because anything can one-shot you. At full health, these things can one-shot my spawn card. There's a treasure to the left. I'm gonna peek my head in, and then run. Do I dare brave it? With how little damage that dealt? No. Alright. Let's head back over here. Grab some food. Alright. Just the top here. Alright. Oh yeah, if it So it seems like every screen it gives me that quick boost of gold. Maybe every two screens. Yep, because there's that boost again. Alright. Got sage bracers. Question mark over to my side. This faster movement just feels a lot more smooth. Even, like, this is a character that wants to run away, so the ability to, you know, run away is quite nice. And it actually leaves, like, a dynamic if you want to fight that you are able to outspeed the enemies. Which, I like that. Yeah, they did a good job with the Splunk. This. And, like, the Splunker, by its very nature, cannot be an overpowered class, because you can't win fights with it. Unless, of course, you, you're good and you take risks. Because I guess I did beat that mini-boss, and I am now trusting myself to beat this boss with it. Yep, that was just a little careless. Oh well. I beat one mini-boss, and I gotta see just how much they pumped up the Splunker, so I like that. Alright, so we have Lich King, Archmage, Lich Queen. Alright, so the Archmage 
After playing with the Lich Queen a while, I feel like the Archmage isn't as horribly overpowered as it was before, because that time stop will run out. And, like, if you ever catch yourself without any mana, you're dead. Like, it doesn't happen often if you're smart, but the moment you play dumb, the Archmage will kill you. So I'm going to actually play the Archmage here. And... Boom. Cool. More gold. And we have 2,000. Oh yeah, let's buy some stuff. Alright, so we have new limbs there. So all the limbs... So each of these have a pattern. So all the blood swords give you plus one vampires and minus 30 health. All the sage items give you 10% gold bonus, but don't seem really useful outside of that. So, let's see. So I'm going to first buy the Squire Cape. So I could buy both. So I'm going to actually first buy the Squire Cape and see if I equip Squire everything, if that does something. I mean, it looks cool, but it doesn't do anything specific. All right, let's re-equip the good stuff. Alright, so there's no reason to, like, but, like I have the blood of everything as well, so I can technically equip all that vampirism, but if it's not going to help me, why bother, you know? So, yeah, so the mage can get crits, so I, that is useful even as a mage. So, yeah. So, let's see, low strength, high int, and MP... Alright. Quick confirmation that there's not. Whoa! I just want to go to the manor. That was weird. Alright, nothing I could buy at the manor. Let's see, how about you? So it's new, and all these cost 125. So I'm just gonna buy a few stuff with my gold. There we are. Er, just. You know, I do want to buy all the vampire stuff just because it looks cool. Alright. Yep, I think this is the best of them. So yeah, we're going to see if the mage isn't completely broken. Because after playing the previous, um, the Lich, I'm sorry to have my doubts. At the very least, it's not the most broken class. Cool, I can replace one of them with that sword. That might be useful before the boss fight. Alright. There we are. There we are. Right, I don't even have to go back to collect the gold because this takes care of it for me. Ooh. Ah! Come on. Okay, so the additional creatures that spawned were not frozen. That's good to know. Yeah. Thinking about what I would have done differently, I think, honestly, just the, um, the more I play this, the more I feel like the only problem was letting mana take damage for you as well. Because mana regenerating plus mana taking damage for you makes the mage a lot like the barbarian in a way that's not supposed to be. But other than that, the more I play it, the more I feel like they did have a decent semblance of balance. Like, sure, it's stronger, but all the classes are stronger. And this was a class that needed help. So, yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that I can take hits and not care a lot of the time, this would be... this would feel pretty balanced. And because it can't... in um, boss fights, it can't do that. Um... Yeah. It... Yeah. It could... This is close to balance, at least. But yeah. As I... 
I say as I defeat enemies without even touching them. Yeah, like, because I spammed all my spells, I actually don't... Okay, I was just about to say I don't have mana, but then I found a potion, so... Alright. Okay. So, Archmage is still strong. The whole thing with me thinking it's not broken was just due to a bad performance. And now that I'm trying again, yeah, that was just a, that performance, that poor performance last time was just an exception. Okay, could you stop? find a good spot, and this is a great spot. Oop. There we are. Just gotta figure out the right spell for the job, and the fact that I can do that makes us feel like a good mage. It's just, when I make mistakes, I should be punished in a way that this won't be. Greetings, adventurer. I'm here to give you the same thing as always. For amazing, for 25% of the gold, chance to open one that will triple the amount I paid. I always just pick the first one because it's random. And I got it right all three times. That's really lucky. Take no damage. All right, I know an easy way to take no damage. And I found the boss. Hey. All right. Wait for it to give me the mana I'm gaining. Because you don't restore mana in boss fights, I am going to actually explore around a bit. Or not. There we are. Let's try out the boss. Alright. So with this theme, the important part of this, the Chakram, is because it spins back to you, you can actually hit a boss multiple times with it. And this can hit it in an angle where it can't hit back, which is also... And it does enough damage to... I don't think it one-shots them, but it two-shots them, which is very powerful. Yep. Xander's going down in just a few shots, which makes me want to not end this because... I mean, the fact that Alexander, which just slaughtered my last character, is going down so easily is... Well, I wasn't paying attention to the health and I killed it. Whoops. All right, so I'm gonna explore the forest a bit more, but yeah, we've just now, once again, proven the Archmage is broken. Okay, so all my doubts are cast away. Whoops, sorry about that. Wish for a more fair fight. My fault entirely. Sorry about that, Alexander. Sorry. Alright. Well. I did it. I ended Alexander when I shouldn't have. Mm. Well, at the very least, I didn't grind myself to such a point where I became untouchable. Very least, like, my other classes can actually fight him and make it feel fair. At least I didn't ruin that part. Eh. But yeah, like, notice I just avoided and evaded, and I left with full health. Yeah, 
So I've come to this decision. Since I did that with the Archmage, I am not allowed to use the Archmage in any other bosses. Let's at least come to that conclusion, if nothing else. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry, Alexander. I want to fair fight. And then I thought I came I had a slight lapse of decency and decided the Archmage was fair because I played with the Lich. Yeah, so literally it came from this thing murdering me in the previous run because I tried to just kill it with nothing other than time stop. Now that I think about it, I was just being an idiot. And the fact that I still thought that was okay is a show of my weakness. It's a show of me kind of desiring victory over fair play. Gosh, I feel like a person who's apologizing for cheating. Technically, this is all in the system, but still. Like, this isn't... This was just plain... This wasn't like... Oh, the, well, actually, it is kind of... They broke it, but it's, the class itself, it wasn't... Still feel unfair. I have one day. Development time, 1.5 months. Release date, April 15th, 2011. If you ever asked us, of all the games we made, which which one would be our favorite, there would be a unanimous agreement with I Have One Day. As children, we were raised on adventure games in classics like King's Quest and Monkey Island, so this was really our homage to some of the best experiences we ever had in gaming. The game revolves around a meta-time puzzle where the player only had 24 hours to beat the game. Every puzzle had multiple solutions with time repercussions, which forced players to think of the best way to go about solving things. One interesting fact, the second ending was added at virtually the last minute, and without it, the entire game would have sucked. Hmm. I wonder what that second ending was. I will be honest, Rogue Legacy was the game I played by them, I have not played the others. But yeah, so remember how I found Sharon's Oval and I accidentally unlocked that extra area? This is where you find the Sharon's, the extra obols. Like, bam, just found Alexander's obol. So next time I leave, so next time I leave, um, I will be popping that open and Alexander's boss fight will appear. Unless I remove it with that. I'm not going to remove it with that. I'm actually going to see if I can go back to Alexander's room and force it open through this. That would be interesting. Now that I'm thinking about it, um, while the Lich is the most pow- like, in the most powerful whenever you fight them, um, oh yeah, by the way, no, I have to wait till I die. Um, the Mage has a special ability where he can go into areas that he cannot fight, and then just use Time Stop and go grab the treasure chests. Also, that is four question mark rooms in a row right next to each other. I didn't even realize that. That is fortune. And I just took zero damage from that. That is the issue. That even your mistakes aren't mistakes. Alright, I believe we've read this one already. Villain. Take no damage. Hmm, I wonder how I'm going to do this without taking damage. So well, so well. Um, the Lich is better at like specific things. The Archmage's versatility makes it the strongest class, I think. Still. Yep. The more I think about it, the more I wonder why I thought this would be. So this is just, you just wait for it to hit the ground and then you just run through it. Alright, hey, another take no damage. Wonder I'll do that.
It is nice to actually be able to use spells, though. I will say that is one thing I, I felt was a uh, failure of the original game. The fact that mana was so hard to recover made it so hard to use spells and meant that the spell-based classes, other than the spell sword, um, which spell sword might end up having zero changes, I would not be surprised. Um, but yeah, classes other than the spell sword um, couldn't really use spells. And because of that, it meant that spells were kind of just taught. Like, if you were leveling up, you it was a mistake to increase your intelligence. Stuff like that. Alright, there's a path down. I'm wondering if I want to go down or if I want to start exploring the Maya. Well, I do have this oval, and I have beaten a boss, so this is kind of a good end. And... Yeah, let's use this. Because this is kind of a good end for the video. And... This will give me an area. Yeah, so I'm in... Like, look how much damage that did. Ooh. Enough damage to remove all my mana for a time. So yeah, I actually have to wait for my mana to recover, which is a new feeling. Now, be it, other characters would probably have died instantly from that attack, but still, when you're when you're low on mana and having to strategize around that, this character is interesting. It's just that doesn't happen often. Also, look at the damage I put. Like this is an enemy 100 level 181. It was within reason for me to kill it. Which is... Okay. Well, there's Alexander. Once again, I am sorry, Alexander. You deserved a fair fight. Well, I think that's enough for today. Um, so next time, I guess we'll check out the Maya figure out what level those are, and hopefully not have to grind again. We'll probably run to a Splunket or something like that again by that time. Until then, you guys all have a wonderful day.